What's up everybody, Damon here with IGN News. The original Batman Arkham Asylum took place within the confines of the hospital, Die Hard style. Then Arkham City expanded into an open world game. Next year's Arkham Knight takes place in all of Gotham and will be five times larger than Arkham City. Speaking to IGN at last week's EGX convention, developer Rocksteady's marketing manager, Guy Perkins, talked a bit about the decision to evolve from the confined and slightly more linear gameplay of the original and why the games expanded as the series went on. Perkins said, we try to create that very cinematic storytelling experience through the game. Obviously Asylum was the starting point for that, but the intimate cat and mouse gameplay between the Joker and Batman really demanded it took place in the pressure cooker of the Asylum. So that had its place for that story, but then we took that into the open world to give players the next piece of the Batman armor as it were, which is the grappling gun and the ability to glide. The introduction of those pieces really required a bigger game world to support them. But then the big thing that was always missing for us was the Batmobile. It was always missing, but wouldn't have worked in Asylum or City, so to build an open world around that was crucial. Now, Perkins' next comments refer to spoilers from Arkham City, so if you haven't completed that game yet, what's wrong with you? It's amazing. Anyway, Perkins continues, Joker going was a challenge, but we left Scarecrow out of Arkham City for a reason, so he's back in as the big bad, and it's great for us to bring him back. He's a great mirror for Batman, as they both use fear as a weapon of choice. There's a dichotomy there. Then working with DC to bring the Arkham Knight to life has been amazing. We were super excited, and it's been a huge honor for us to do something this big. Finally, he adds that if people walk away from the game, thinking it's the ultimate Batman simulator, then Rocksteady's job will be complete. Arkham Knight is out June 2nd next year. For more, stay tuned to IGN.